Team Africa Rising, Africa Rising Cycling Center has put together a campaign trying to fund a water filtration system. The water has been out now since 6 a.m. today, actually before that, and this is what we wake up to. Very low water pressure, this is residual in the tank, but this is where we need it to go through. This is the only filter that Africa Rising Cycling Center has on the entire compound for 16 houses, 15 riders, and 8 staff. If it doesn't come through here, it's not filtered and it's not drinkable. You drink this, not good, projectile vomiting. Begin. So in order to get water, what we then need to do, since the city water is off, we need to switch it to one of our 5,000 liter tanks, the only 5,000 liter tank we have on the tower, which is enough water pressure barely to pump the water all the way to this house. It's a couple minute walk up to the uh, top water tank. This is where all the water tanks are and the shut off and turn on for the tanks and the city water. We have three 5,000 liter tanks right now. These two tanks, however, they're full, but we can't really use that water. It would have to be hauled in jerry cans and boiled, which we were boiling earlier this week. We have to get the water up to that tank, but we only have at this point about four hours of city water strong enough to get it up there. And that usually comes between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. in the morning. So, how we test city water? That is city water. That is on. Nothing coming out. So, when that happens, we have to turn the valve on for the tank up above us. And that will give us some water. Um, unfortunately, with 20 to 30 people at camp every week with staff and riders, we only have enough water for maybe a couple of days. So that includes laundry, drinking water. We go through 100 liters of drinking water a day, and it takes us on average about six to eight minutes to fill a five liter jug of drinking water. So right now, this is all the drinking water that we have available for the rest of the day. Luckily, all the riders left this morning because it's a Friday morning. If this was a camp day, this water would last us maybe until dinner time. And the problem we're facing now is because the water situation continues to deteriorate, by next week we will not be able to host camp because there's no way that we can provide enough drinking water for our riders. And the really sad part is the riders come to camp because they don't have drinking water and they don't have access to good, clean, consistent water at home. So they come here so that we can ensure their safety with drinking water, they get their training, they get their clothes washed, they get a shower. And I know that all seems extravagant maybe, I don't know, but this is exactly where we are. We need this water system. It's $25,000.